So, you think you have what it takes to be a great captain, eh? You think you can share the stars with the greats, like the great Captain Brannigan? Or even the more infamous Captain Morgan? We shall see! Today we're talking about the captain. Yes, Captain. I have made it with a woman. Inform the men. Welcome to the Maple Table. My name's Nathaniel. This is a channel where we discuss role-playing games such as Starfinder and Werewolf the Apocalypse. If that's something that you enjoy, I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you know when my content is available. This is going to be part two of a much longer series than I thought it was going to be, specifically focused around starship combat. Today is a deep dive into the role of Captain. Come! Come! First things first, what type of captain do you want to be? Because there can really only be one on that ship. Are you the gruff and intimidating captain who makes threats to get exactly what they want? Or do you take a more nurturing and encouraging type of approach to inspire your crew to be better? If you fit into one of those two categories, then there is definitely some options for you as a captain of your ship. It should go without saying that a good captain should also be extremely well-versed in the delicate and fine art of taunting. For lower level characters, these are gonna be the three actions that you are going to most likely be able to do. There are some other options available to you captains as your characters progress in levels. At sixth character level, you will be able to issue specific orders. By spending a resolve point, you can inspire your crew after passing a difficult skill check, of course, and that specific crew member that you have chosen as your one to be inspired will be able to take two rounds in their chosen role. Keep in mind, you can't have your gunner shoot twice because they can't do the same action. My thought process went there, but it's, it's written that, that you can't do that because that would be overpowered as oh. She's a beautiful ship, all right. Shapely, seductive. I'm gonna fly her brains out. And last but not least, at 12th level, you can inspire your crew with a powerful moving speech. Bonus points to role players if you actually role play out that speech. All of these actions can be taken at any time during that, uh, that three phase order, which I talked about in the first video. The captain actions can be found on page 322 of the core rulebook. So I do suggest that as players, you go there and familiarize yourself with the actions that you can take for this, uh, for this particular role, especially if you're going to be playing the role of captain. You'll want to be able to know all the tricks of the trade. Being that the goal is trying to keep my videos short and concise and get you the information that you need quickly, that's why I'm breaking this series up into multiple parts because there's there's quite a lot to cover with each role and I want to also be able to put my own little flair on it for everyone as well. Just because I think I'm funny and hopefully you do too, but at the end of the day, I think I'm funny. Keep your eyes peeled for more videos from me around the other roles. Uh, I'm going to be covering everything that's in the core rulebook as well as the character operations manual when it comes to starship combat, so please keep your eyes peeled for those. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this type of content, and don't forget that bell notification so that you know when my content comes available. My name's Nathaniel. You've been watching The Maple Table. Thanks for stopping by, everyone.